Have you ever seen a magnet? What happens? The iron automatically gets attracted, right? Exactly the same thing can happen to you. You just stand one place and all the companies will come to you just like how iron gets attracted to magnet. Well, if that has to happen, if you have to make your career magnetic, then you need to develop skill set. You can see here, molecular biology techniques is one important skill set which you will need in your future scientific career. Now, like Mahatma Gandhi said, hate the crime, not the criminal, right? The same way industry loves the skills, not the person. Okay, so you have to make sure that you have all this skill set, you have the molecular biology techniques internship. So we are starting this internship from 15th of June. And to just rejig your memory, I am making this video to tell you what all things which we are going to provide in this particular internship. Now, the first things first you all should know is this internship is having two components. One is the uh, theory component which is online virtual internship. Another is a wet lab internship in three different labs. One is IAS incubated lab, one is a JNU incubated lab, and one is a SHRM biotech in Kolkata. So three places you can do your wet lab and the dry lab, that's the theoretical part of the internship, the virtual internship you will get to do in Biotechnica. So you're getting a certificate from both the places, from the lab side as well as from Biotechnica, and that's why it makes it very much valuable. Now, the goals of this internship is to nurture you, make you a magnet. That's a summary of very simple summary I can tell you. But if we, I have to tell you in detail, we want to develop practical skills to develop practical skills of molecular biology techniques in your uh, in you and to help you write that in your CV and get it validated. Because when you have learned it from an IIC scientist or a GNU scientist, it becomes a validation, right? The second thing is, of course, to gain knowledge and you know help you exp gain experience, the real world, real life experience of molecular biology techniques in a lab and then explore various applications of molecular biology techniques, which I'll be showing you in the later part of my video today. So what are you going to learn? So there are two parts of uh, the internship. One is basic technique, another is a advanced technique. So under the basic technique, we have here DNA extraction, RNA extraction, PCR amplification, gel electrophoresis, restriction enzyme digestion, southern blotting, all this is basic uh, techniques which will be training you. Then we have advanced techniques, which is cloning, uh, site-directed mutagenesis, western blotting, fluorescence, microscopy, next generation sequencing, CRISPR, Cas9, and PCR, and various other things which we'll be including in this particular internship. So a complete list of what all techniques we will train you is given in the description. You can go and check. And what we have done is because um, we have made it in such a way, we have designed it in such a way that if you are an ARM scholar, you are going to get it for absolutely free, the virtual internship part. And for the uh, wet lab internship also you are getting a massive 50% discount if you are an ARM scholar. So that's how we have designed this particular internship. Now let's look at what are the applications of this particular internship. So it will help you analyze gene expression. It will help you characterize proteins. It will help you diagnose disease and come to a conclusion that this particular thing is a, this particular disease. Uh, it will help you in drug discovery if you want to make a career in drug discovery, which is a hot uh, topic nowadays. Every company is jumping into that. Then we'll also help you uh, tr help train you on genetic engineering and of course agri biotechnology which is going to sustain all of us in the future so that's all about the applications of molecular biology techniques and that is why you must attend this internship it is starting from 15th your wet lab training will start from 3rd of july the dry lab that is the virtual internship will start from 15th of june so you have very very less time and already arm scholars are also getting this for free so you should book your seat faster if you want only this particular internship if you want other things also along with the this particular internship like mentorship csi net coaching gate coaching then you should apply for arm scholarship and this you will get it for free the virtual part and the wet lab part you will get a 50 percent discount now apart from all of this of course we are also going to train you on lab safety which is very important. You see, uh, lab accidents are very common and many people lose their lives also. So how exactly to practice lab safety? Even that will be trained, we will train you 
how to um, handle the hazardous chemicals, biological agents, and uh, disposing waste materials, emergency procedures, all these protocols will be trained. And in real life, real world procedure, it's not just a virtual training, it is a wet lab and dry lab, both included in this particular internship, right? So always all of you used to complain to me that, sir, why don't we have wet lab for Biotechnica? We have it now. And that also IAC scientist, IASC, Indian Institute of Science incubated lab is there. And that Indian Institute of Science X scientist, scientist is going to train you. Now, the next thing, of course, it will help you gain a lot of uh, uh, professional development that is communication skills, time management skills, teamwork collaboration because you're going to work in a team like team of 10 or team of 5 or 10, team of 7 people who are going to work the experiments together and then you will also learn presentation skills because when you will be given assignments you will present you will present those assignments and learn how to uh, you know face the audience and take questions and of course this presents amazing networking opportunity because you will get to know um, uh, Dr. Deepthi Saini and uh, Dr. Neeraj and uh, uh, the scientists in SHRM Biotech, all these people, you'll you'll create your contacts and you'll and you'll be able to use their network to leverage and get jobs. So you know that's a great opportunity for all of you. That is where I want to highlight and conclude here that you have to know this that if you just sit at one place and do nothing, then you will not get anything, right? So at the end of the day. Ships were not built to stay in the harbor. They had, they were supposed to go out. You studied all this while, not just to take a degree and sit at home. You did all of this to do a job. And for that, molecular biology techniques is a very important technique, is a very important skill. Every biotech and bioscience is expert. Every bioscience is future scientist, a career aspirant must have. So it's not just a qualification, I'll qualify CSIR and I'll get a PhD and I'll start working. Even there you will need this. So if you are thinking that, okay, CSIR and uh, exam ke baad I can apply, yes, you can. But because 15th is the last date, uh, 15th is starting actually. So we have to close this admissions event before that. So even if you are writing CSIR and at least book your um, seat here in the internship so that you can get started once your exams are over. So this is all about the molecular biology internship which I wanted to highlight here. Now any questions or comments which you have you can ask me at shekhar at biotechnica Ecology, or you can comment below and I'll team will reply to you as soon as possible. Now may, my aim actually is to make it very very clear to you that Companies are really not bothered to train you on this. Okay, So if you're thinking that you will get a job and then people will train you, no, they will not do it. They'll only hire those who are already ready. Job ready people are hired, not untrained people. right? So why to go to HR and say, I'm untrained, please train me, then hire me. They will never do it. They'll straight away reject. Instead of rejection, you can convert that rejection into selection if you are ready with molecular biology techniques. So whether you want to become a researcher, an industry professional, or you want to pursue a PhD, everywhere you will need all of this. And what best you can get all of this training from an IISC scientist, from a JNU scientist, from the experience, one of the oldest labs in India, SHRM Biotech, and of course, Biotechnica experts. So all of us, we are, we are coming together for this internship. It's a marriage of four organizations, not one. Biotechnica, IAC Incubated Lab, JNU Incubated Lab, and then SHRM Biotech. All of us are coming together to make this happen. So what are you waiting for? The link is in the description. Seats are very less, so you have to enroll fast. And I'll see you soon in Bangalore or Noida or Kolkata in the wet lab as a scientist wearing the lab coat, working on the uh, desk and achieving great results in your experiment. Is that, is that not your dream? That's my dream for you. Come on, let's join and win. All the best.